and be a facts that sound fake but are actually true part 36. Carl Malone is the oldest player in NBA history to score a triple-double. He did this at the age of 40 years old in 127 days against the Spurs on November 28, 2003 while he was on the Lakers. Josh Giddy is the youngest player in NBA history to notch a triple-double. He was 19 years old in 84 days. He did this against the Mavericks on January 2, 2022. Carl dropped 10 points, 11 rebounds, and 10 assists. Josh dropped 17 points, 13 rebounds, and 14 assists. These players live by the concept that age is just a number and all their stats were under 18, from points, rebounds, and assists. Joel Embiid has a rather strange free throw habit. He has a tendency to scratch his bum and then sniff his fingers before taking his free throw attempt. Now this doesn't happen for every attempt, but now fans are starting to take notice. Some are betting if you will do this on future attempts or not, so pay attention when Joel Embiid is back on the line. If an NBA player had a game with 29 points, 11 assists, and 13 rebounds, for most players that would be the best game of their career. If Nikola Jokic drops those numbers, all of his averages would actually decrease this season. At the time of this recording, he's averaging 29.7 points per game, 11.7 assists, and 13.7 rebounds. Nikola could join Russell Westbrook and Oscar Robertson as players who averaged a triple-double for a season. Speaking of Russ, he has the most triple-doubles in NBA history as both a starter with 195 and as a bench player with 5. Carl Anthony Towns is averaging 26.8 points per game. Jalen Brunson is averaging 25.2 points per game. The last time a guard and a center duo averaged over 25 points per game was the 2002-03 Lakers with Kobe Bryant dropping 30 and Shaq dropping 27.5. The Cleveland Cavaliers franchise 15-game win streak came to an end when the Celtics beat them 120-117. The last NBA team to win 15 straight games to start a season was the 1993-94 Houston Rockets, who started their season 15-0 as well. They ended up winning the title that year. Will history repeat itself? Speaking of history repeating itself, at the time of this recording, both the Warriors and the Cavaliers are number one in their conferences. Could we see another Cavs vs. Warriors finals? And speaking of the Warriors, Steph, Clay, and Draymond do not have the most playoff wins for a trio. They're actually third all-time with 98 wins. Second place is Magic Johnson, Kareem, and Michael Cooper with 110 playoff wins. And first place is Tony Parker, Manu Ginobili, and Tim Duncan with 126 playoff wins. This season, Anthony Davis became the first Laker with 30-plus points to start a season's first two games since Kobe Bryant, and he became the third Laker ever with 35-plus games in the first two games, joining Jerry West and Algernon. Baylor. Going down south to the Houston Rockets, Tari Eason has 162 steals so far this season, which is second most in the NBA. Crazy thing is, he's been coming off the bench every game so far. And Elperon Shengun has the most assists for a center at the age of 23. Could he become the next Nikola Jokic? So here was yet another episode of NBA Facts that sound fake but are actually true. Don't forget to dunk on that like button and subscribe with notifications turned on. I'm Rebound Rewind, and I'll fast forward to you later.